Hi everyone, I am uh, Dr. Nithyanandan, working as a pulmonary and critical care medicine consultant in uh, Kaveri Hospital, Chennai. Today we are going to discuss uh, about ventilator. The topic we are going to discuss about is uh, like why, what is a ventilator, what are the uses of a ventilator and uh, what are the patients uh, we usually put on ventilator and uh, what are the complications and uh, when do we take the patient out of ventilator and what are the issues we face while putting a patient on a ventilator. So basically, a uh, ventilator is uh, used when a patient is requires either oxygenation or ventilation or to protect his lungs. So basically, uh, the general public feels, so ventilator is only for oxygenation. It's not the case. So it can either give oxygen, it can also be used to give ventilation, which is uh, not the exactly the same as an oxygenation and also to protect his lungs. So, uh, I will give you an example for each of these three. So, the most common example we are facing today is uh, COVID. So, in COVID, the patients uh, have uh, difficulty in oxygenation. So, in that case, whenever a patient comes with COVID, a patient is having low oxygen saturation. In that case, we put the patient on other devices. We do not put the patient immediately on ventilators. That is what the most of the attendants will have a doubt like why the patient is not on ventilator, why the patient is on ventilator, why some patient is on not on ventilator, why is our patient on ventilator. So that depends on how much oxygen the patient requires. If the patient requires low oxygen, patient will be put on something other than a ventilator. In that case, he will not, will not need a ventilator. If the patient is not maintaining his saturation levels at those devices, we will then shift the patient to this ventilator. So this will give up to a 100 percent oxygen. So we have a lot of settings here in the ventilator. So, which will uh, help us in giving how much oxygen we want to give, how much volume of oxygenation we want to give. So, this will decide how much the patient is getting from the ventilator. So, once the patient is put on ventilator, we will continuously monitor the patient as well as the settings on the ventilator as well as the readings we, we get, which we get on the screen of the ventilator. So, this will help us in ass assessing whether the patient is getting better or the patient is not getting better or in other in worst case scenario the patient is not getting better and the patient is deteriorating. In that condition we will change these settings accordingly. Suppose if the patient is improving and these settings are appropriate for him as per his blood gases then we will change these settings accordingly. Once the patient is fit enough to be off the ventilator try to change the patient from a ventilator to a non-ventilator setup. That is not done. So basically, we cannot shift the patient just from a ventilator to a non-ventilator setup. That takes a few uh, tests and to assess whether the patient will survive and the patient will be able to breathe alone without a ventilator. So that will take few tests. So then the other situation where the patient will be put on a ventilator is the something called patient's need for ventilation. For example, a snake bite or a OPC or organophosphorus poisoning. In those situations, patient's lungs might be normal, but patients may not be able to ventilate himself. Like the muscles for ventilation, muscles for his lungs to operate have failed. In that case, the ventilator helps or augments the function of the muscles or the respiratory muscles. So the third, so in those scenarios, once the patient is being treated appropriately for those conditions and the patient is able to and his muscles meaning whether his muscles are properly functioning and he is able to ventilate properly, then we will try to shift him off the ventilator. So a third scenario where we put the patient on ventilator is a patient whose brain is not functioning properly. For example, patient who is coming just out of an operation theatre or patient who is undergoing surgery or patient who is coming out of an operation theatre or patients who have undergone head trauma. So in those situations, his brain is not able to give adequate signals to his lungs and his muscles to breathe. In that si situation, we need to put the patient on a ventilator so that the machine will take over the function of giving the signals to the lungs so that the lungs and the muscles function appropriately till the time his brain recovers from whatever insult has happened. Yeah, finally, uh, these are the functions of a ventilator. Thank you.